Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. At Society, Chelsea tells Billy the teachers at Connor's school updated her on what's been going on with him. The news is worse than she thought. He's struggling, Billy, and I don't know how to help him. He can't pay attention in class, and they think it could be anxiety or a processing disorder. He's not eating and is washing his hands all the time. They want her to talk to the on-site therapist. Billy assures her she'll get him through this. What can I do to help get you through this? Chelsea says she and Adam are on the same page. She thinks that this is just the aftermath of everything Connor went through this year. She and Adam would love to go to the school, but they told them to wait. She called her therapist, which impresses Billy. They talk about how they changed each other's lives. Chelsea asks to hear about what's going on in his head. Victoria arrives at the ranch and stops short at the sight of her disheveled mother. Nikki admits she had her worst stumble yet. This one really scared me. Victoria learns that her mother had a terrible relapse and blames Jordan. She asks how it happened. Victor says it was the news of the fire at the facility and the possibility she's escaped. Nikki says she has escaped. She complains about them keeping her in the dark. Victoria says they didn't want to upset her. Victor will make sure she doesn't come near this house. Nikki repeats that she has escaped. I have proof that she is alive, and she is still very much out for revenge. Nikki reveals she's been getting those phone calls again. This morning the call had the same song playing. She knows Jordan is behind it. Victor and Victoria urge her not to let Jordan push her buttons. Jordan is broke and on the run, and Nikki is safe there. She's the vulnerable one, not you. Nikki needs to get some rest. She rises to leave the room, but first, she has a confession to make. In Tucker's suite, Audra tells him he's obsessed with Ashley. He told her he chose her and then had the nerve to pull this. Tucker insists she's misinterpreting this, but Audra's not buying it. She reads him the riot act for not keeping his promises and reminds he's supposed to be done with that woman. Tucker says he is done with her, you are the one I want to be with, but Audra interrupts, she's just the one who's available. He can't have the one he truly wants and his ego can't stand it. Tucker insists he only wanted to know when Ashley was back so he can avoid running into her. Audra asks if he honestly expects her to believe that. Tucker maintains he's had it with her and her accusations. If he sees her coming the other way, he's crossing the street. I don't want her getting in the way of what you and I have. At the Abbott Mansion, Ashley demands to know why Jack won a family meeting and why he and Diane are looking at each other. Is this an intervention? She wonders if Tracy told them that Tucker bribed the waiter in Paris. Jack says there's more to the story. Tracy spoke to the rest of the wait staff at the cafe. None of them could recall Tucker being physically violent. Ashley fumes that he bought off the whole staff. He is unbelievable. Ashley is ranting about them buying into Tucker's BS when Tracy comes in. Ashley confronts her about going behind her back. Tracy didn't want to keep this from Ashley, but she thought it would be better for her to hear it there, surrounded by family. Ashley thinks this just proves the lengths that Tucker will go to gaslight her. Jack and the others exchange uncertain glances. Ashley rages at them to stop. You guys know what he's capable of. Why are you doubting me? Ashley contends that it wouldn't have been hard for Tucker to pay off the whole wait staff. Tracy informs her that she offered them even more money. It was awful, but she offered them twice as much if they just admitted they'd been bribed. Not one person took it because they didn't want to lie. Ashley figures he threatened them, but Tracy found them believable and not nervous or intimidated. Ashley, on the other hand, showed doubt when they spoke to the waiter. Ashley insists she has no doubts. I can't believe you're taking Tucker's side. I can't believe this is happening. She's being let down by her family in the most painful way. In Tucker's suite, Audra informs him that they are bound to run into his ex plenty. 
Every day will be another reminder. Every time it happens, she'll see the love slash hate written all over his face. She'll constantly be questioning where his heart lies. Tucker jokes that they could buy their own restaurant to eat in. Audra can see how he'd be sick of Ashley's accusations. She can't help but wonder what she found out in Paris. Maybe the truth will shut down Ashley for good.